Hey everybody, how are you? Guess what? It's prep day. It's my day off today. I went and got some preps. Uh, some of them for winter. As winter's coming up, even though it's July, I'm thinking ahead. And so I wanted to pick up a couple things that I could put on the shelf, you know, just in case I don't want to get out because of the snow or the lights go out and I can't get on the internet. I can't YouTube or any of those things we all like to do. So I want to show you a few things I got and in the comments, if you'll tell me some of the things you've been picking up or have you, or you don't care. <laughs> anyway, um, one thing I picked up, this has a shelf life just till December. It's the smaller uh, one pound. It'll sit on the shelf till then. It'll be good for the holidays. It's there. If it's raining, if it's snowing, I can throw it in the crock pot. I always have hamburger meat in the freezer and Rotel tomatoes on the shelf. So there we go. We got dip and I don't have to go out in the snow. So that's good for six months on the shelf. That's why we got it. Uh, my one son will be super happy because he's a cheese fanatic. Anyway, one other thing I got. I don't know anything about this one. It is white chicken chili. Have any of you had it yet? I bought three cans. I think they were $1.98 or $1.48, something like that. Uh, I got three cans to put on the shelf. It shows on the back it would be good over rice if you needed a bigger meal. Or you could just have a bowl of chili with some crackers or cornbread. Uh, so we're going to try that out. If you tried it before, let me know if you like it. Let me know something. So I bought three of those. This is our standard go-to chili, one we were raised up on, one we all love. I have many of them stacked on the shelf, but every time I buy some preps, I go ahead and pick up another can. Um, in the wintertime, they do eat a lot of that, and so it'll be there. One thing I was happy to find, I've been trying to stack the canning lids just to have one, and if I need them for two, and barter for three, right? Um, if I need something else and can't get a hold of it. The ball canning lids, uh, in my video that I did earlier today about canning preps, they did have them if you bought them with the rings, and I have several of those already. So I was just looking for just lids, that's it. I could not find any of the ball brand today, but what I did find were the Golden Harvest brand. Uh, I've seen the reviews on them. They say that they work just as well, uh, that they didn't really have fails on the lids. So I went, I think they were $1.47 maybe? I think so. I think they were $1.47. Uh, so I picked up one, two, three, four, five. What I get? I can't count. Two, four. I picked up six of them to go up on the shelf for if I need them. Um, if I can find any more of the ball lids, I'm going to get those and keep them stocked. But I'll have these for extra. And again, if somebody else needs some, I'll have some to share. So that was a good find today. I was happy to get that. Um, as you know, I have my shop, the Rose Hill Cottage. If you're looking on my page, I have it linked up, the little Facebook thing. Um, you can click on that and find my page. So I make jewelry and things like that. And as you can see, I wear glasses because I can't see and I'm old. And so the little beadwork is getting a little harder to see. One thing that I picked up today was a big old magnifying glass that you can put on the desktop and it's hands-free LED magnifier um, it folds out so you can use it um, it came with the three batteries in it and then I have other batteries stocked up so I will be able to use that whether we have lights or we don't and I'll be able to see so that was $15 um, that was one of the bigger purchases today, you know, that wasn't a dollar or three dollars or something like that. Um, 
Another one of the things, like I was telling you, I'm doing all the beadwork on my shop. I also travel around, and so I, why I am traveling around, I'd like to carry some of the beads and hooks and all of those things with me. So I picked up this. It was a larger purchase, um, $19.98 or something like that, $20 basically on there. But it will keep everything together. Let me show you. It's hard to show <laughs> if I don't break it already. So that's at the top. You can put all kinds of stuff in there. And then these open up right here. I can't do this backwards. And so inside they have the little boxes that will stack. One, two, three, four. There's four, four stacks of them in there. I could put a lot of beads in there or hooks or whatever. And carry that with me and nothing will get lost because let me just tell you those little beads are expensive expensive people wonder how a simple little bracelet you know just went on the stretch cord cost so much because the beads are ridiculous they are ridiculous speaking of ridiculous um, I did get these came from Amazon I did get a little pack of the crystal beads uh, today in the mail so those will be going in there they came in their own little case I couldn't even tell you how much I paid for this let me just tell you ridiculous beads are ridiculous so anyway I got those I'm gonna be starting on some bracelets um, bracelets and keychains and some necklaces if I don't lose them I will. they fell on the ground I also got because it's not Christmas yet and if you don't get them now, you won't get them later. Little Jingle Bells. These are the smaller package or the smaller size. And then I got some of the bigger size. Why am I buying Jingle Bells and it's not Christmas? Because I make the door hangers to keep evil spirits away. The bells. <laughs> oh, and so I would like to have some on hand because, as I said, as it gets closer to Christmas, you can't find them. And it's time to start doing some of those crafts now. What else do I have? Oh, that's what I was going to tell you. I did buy a whole bunch of just regular index cards and colored index cards. You can't see that they're colored, but they are. Uh, I bought several of them. I write recipes for my oils and um, perfumes and things like that on the cards. And so I'd like to have a bunch of them on hand in case I can't get to the store. That's that. Oh, I want to show you. Another bag. I already have one of these, but I bought a second one. It just has a little bit of extra, like... Um, fasteners and things like that in case I do something with mine I have a second one it's where you put the beads in and able to feed them in and design your necklace I bought many different um, like earring backs and jump rings and other little Spring rings and fish hook earrings and more beading needles. Beading needles were only a dollar. And I think I buy them every time I go to the store, just about. I just got a little sample pack of that to put in the sewing kit because you never know when you're going to need something. Um, the little bar pins to make oops to make brooches with the crystals that I'm gonna do. Anyway, there's so much stuff in this bag, just like earring stuff, all kinds of stuff to make that. So why did I buy all that? So I have it on hand, and I don't have to go out and get one, and it's stored up because winter time's coming, and I'm not gonna want to go out of the house except to go to work because I have to. But anyway, it'd be a good time to be crafting. Um, 
not out in the cold weather. Yeah. Right now it's summertime, or supposed to be. It's uh, almost 11 o'clock at night, and it's 70 degrees outside. We had a little bonfire outside to uh, do a celebration of life for one of our friends who passed. We like to celebrate instead of sitting around crying so much. Um, he was one of our friends for our whole lifetime, and so that's what we did out there today. 70 degrees in July. That's crazy, isn't it? Um, anyway, so we don't know what the weather's going to be. I'm trying to prepare for multiple situations and have lots of things on hand here. What are you preparing for? What do you have put away as far as if the lights went out and you couldn't watch YouTube? <laughs> you couldn't watch me on YouTube. Uh, or your other favorite people on YouTube. Or you could not be on the internet or on your phone. Oh my God, you can't be on your phone. What are you going to do? Are you going to read a book? Are you going to make jewelry? Are you going to sit out by the campfire? Tell me what you're going to do. Tell me what you're prepping. Are you prepping anything at all? Anyway, I'm going to get off here. Much love, everybody. Leave me a comment, um, and I'll talk to you later. Have a great night.